Hey there, and thank you for signing up for Userback. My name is John, and I am the head of growth here at Userback, and I'm really excited to uh, show you how to get started so you can start collecting visual feedback straight away with your clients. Now, uh, assuming you've just signed up and you'll be sitting on the widget page, the first thing you'll want to do to get started is install the Userback widget code onto your website or application. Now, uh, it's really easy. All you need to do is copy and paste this script code and place it before the closing body tag on every page you want to collect feedback on. So if there's a page you don't want to collect feedback on, don't put the script into there. Now, uh, what you can also do from in here, assuming you've selected a, uh, the type of feedback that you're looking to collect with userback, uh, you can actually change this by dropping down the template type. So if you drop that down, you can change that template. And what that's going to do is it's going to change the settings within uh, the widget itself. So it'll change uh, the appearance slightly, the selection of feedback that you'll have access to, the feedback form, which is what we're previewing right here, and uh, also uh, some additional tweaks as well. So if I take that back to website feedback, and uh, you can see that if you drop down each card, you can change the display of the feedback button, the color, the button text, the position on the page, etc. And uh, importantly, the type of feedback that you're looking to collect. So Userback lets you collect annotated uh, screenshots, so visual screenshot feedback, video feedback where your clients can say it with video and explain to you exactly what they're looking for or the changes they're looking to make, some general feedback, and you can also add a contact us link if that's something that you need to do as well. Uh, now, there is the feedback form that you can customize and you can add and remove the different fields that you'd like to collect information on at the, the very last step of the feedback process. So uh, whether that's the name field of the reporter, you can make that mandatory or not mandatory, a category. And this is great along with the priority if, if you're doing internal feedback or user acceptance testing, or bug tracking, you can enable these fields as you need to. There are some additional tweaks with, which you can look through, such as changing the language. Uh, we have many languages that uh, you can select from. Once you've gone ahead and you've tweaked your widget and you've added the widget code to your website, uh, you can see that in action and you should be able to see it on your website. But we do have a demo page here so you can test out what that's going to do. So. I've loaded the demo page. You can see our widgets over here on the right hand side. When I click that, I'm given the, the four options that we have enabled. So draw on the screen, video capture, general feedback, and the contact us link. I'll demonstrate the draw on the screen feature first. It's very easy to use. Simply click and drag to draw at the annotation tool and a single click will load up the pin to add a comment. So you will have access to a box tool, a highlighter or pen, a single line tool and an arrow tool along with a blockout tool. So the blockout tool is great if you need to hide any information on a page and then the other tools work uh, very similar as well. So click and drag to draw the annotation tools. And once again, click to pin a comment. So we'll go ahead and save that. Click next and we'll leave a final comment. Now just to show you quickly the other feedback types. So the capture video will just load a recording bar down the bottom left hand side of the screen where you can simply start recording. And when you start recording, that will let you uh, select uh, the application window that you're looking to share or your entire desktop. We'll count down and then it's recording. User back records the screen. It also records the voice as well. So it will call, record the microphone. And you can highlight things and you can point to things and direct as you're talking through it. So we'll just add the final comment there and you'll see there's a progress bar. Now that feedback has been sent to my user back account. Lastly, general feedback takes you straight to the feedback form and the contact us link, you can configure that how you need to. Now let's go and have a look at that feedback. So that's going to be sitting in the feedback menu. So here you can see our feedback that we've just created, the annotations on the screen, including the comments that we've made. 
Now, you'll also have access to the priority of this feedback, the status of the feedback, and you can also come in and categorize your feedback as well. So this would let you categorize this as improvements or bugs, and all of these categories are absolutely editable as well. There is also some de more detailed information here. Now, you can share this feedback with, with your clients or with your team members by simply clicking the share button. You'll have access to the feedback URL along with uh, emailing this feedback to um, any email addresses, and that can be comma-separated as well. Next, I'll show you the video feedback we recorded. So here's the video we just recorded, and we can play through that. And also, as we play through that, we can add bookmarks and notes against the feedback. So if there's something that someone has said that's really important, you can simply add a bookmark and then note that down. And it's as easy as that. Now these feedback can be resolved and you can then uh, filter as well on resolved, unresolved or all comments. Very easy to do. Now in terms of feedback, it's not always about visual feedback. Of course we have a process that we might go through as a designer or an agency and you may start with a mock-up or a design that you're looking to share with your clients. So within the designs menu, you'll have access to uploading images, you'll have access to uploading PDF documents and also uploading videos. So if you're a creative and you need to collect feedback on any stage of the design process, you can come in here and upload the, the files that you need to to collect feedback on from your clients. And once you've done that, you can upload um, multiple files into the same feedback. So if you have versions of the uh, the logo or the brochure or the website that you're working on, you can upload those into the same feedback and uh, feedback that you've created and uh, collect uh, multiple versions of feedback from your clients. Lastly, our recommendation is to come into the notifications section, turn on the notifications that you require. Next, integrate with the tools that you use internally. Uh, if you use a notification tool such as Slack or a project management tool, set those up, go to the people menu, invite your team to start collaborating and collecting visual feedback. Thank you so much for signing up. We really look forward to working with you.